An amazing result brought to you by some of my colleagues uh, here at ANU in Canberra, led by Lex Van Loon, about how safe it's going to be for astronauts to go to Mars. Because we've had this huge question when astronauts get there and step off the spacecraft, are they going to faint? Believe it or not, lots of astronauts returning to Earth do faint. So when you're in space, you actually get lots of extra blood pumping to your brain. And that's actually because there's no gravity to pull all that blood down, something we're used to. So when we see astronauts in space, we see their hair floating around, but we often see with like strained heads, they have a little bit of red faces. In fact, their heads get a little bit bigger. Now, when those astronauts come back down to Earth, now all of a sudden we have gravity and gravity pulls and drains all of that blood down to their legs and feet. And so when you look at astronauts returning from space, often they're sitting. They also look quite sickly white. They almost look like they're going to faint because they feel sick and queasy. Now all of a sudden that blood is coming from their brain. And there have been very uh, uh, well-documented incidences in the early days when astronauts would go up and they would just faint because their body hasn't adapted to the way gravity's moving blood in their body. So this really cool new result has now shown that it's actually going to be safe for astronauts when they get to Mars. How? Obviously, we haven't sent people there. Well, they've used computer modeling. where They've taken the way fluids and blood move in the human body and were able to accurately model how that happens on Earth. They were then able to take that same program and change the effects of gravity. You can take the effects of gravity way down, i.e. microgravity in space, and see what happens. And we know that result. But the trick and the key result here is what happens to Mars. Mars has about a third the gravity of Earth. So they're able to dial up the gravity a little bit more than in space, but a lot less than on Earth, and see what happens. And as it turns out, it shows that the blood flow is actually okay, that when the astronauts would step off their spacecraft, they wouldn't have this huge rush of blood going down to their legs, feeling faint, uh, and therefore falling over, but they would have kind of somewhere in between, meaning that, you know, they probably won't feel the best, but they won't faint and likely injure themselves. So we can kind of think of this model of the human body a lot like uh, water in a building. Um, imagine we have water at the ground floor and we have to pump it up to the 10th floor, i.e. gravity on Earth. So you build your system so that the water can get all the way to the top. There's enough pressure through the tubes to send that water so when you turn your tap on, you get water. Now we also know because if the pump can get it to the 10th floor, it also works on the ground floor. How does it work getting to the third floor? And more importantly, if you change your pump for it only working on the ground floor, getting water around, does it have enough oomph to get to the third floor? This is essentially our human body. Our human body has a pump, the heart, blood, the liquid, arteries uh, that are the tubes. And in space, we have the ground floor where there's no gravity. We On Earth, we have the 10th floor where there's lots of gravity. And then Mars, the third floor where there's some gravity. And what we've now known for a long time is that when the human body gets used to working in space, our heart becomes a little bit lazy, so when it comes back down to the ground, it can no longer pump that blood to the 10th floor, i.e. Earth. But could it pump blood to the 3rd floor still? That is the big question. Could you have enough oomph to get your blood to the brain on that 3rd floor level, a third the Earth's gravity, and still work? And it turns out, yes! The human body will be fine, for the most part, uh, in terms of blood stepping off your spacecraft when you get to Mars.